Hello and welcome to another analysis video. Today we'll talk about Unilever, publicly traded company, ticker symbol UL. It's a British company in the consumer staples sector, household and personal products or consumer goods industry. The goal of this video is to decide whether this stock is overvalued or undervalued and what is the likely value for this stock based on my return investment ratio. Anytime we talk about foreign stock, the first question we have to ask is the relationship between the stock listed in the New York Stock Exchange and the one in the main stock exchange market. In this case, it's one to one. And this relationship is important when we calculate the per share numbers and the analysis. To perform this analysis, I have all the information that I need from all three different financial statements. All these numbers are in millions and euro currency except for the per share numbers and the outstanding shares. The first reason why I think this stock is overvalued is the slow growth in revenue, net income and free cash flow. The revenue only increased 11% from 2017 to 2023. That is less than 2% in a year. Similar story for the net income and free cash flow. But the good thing is that the free cash flow is always positive. The second reason why I think this stock is overvalued is the debt. The debt itself is decreasing in the last two years compared to 2021, but I think their ability to service the debt or how much they are making compared to the interest expense that I have to make every year is decreasing. This ability went from 22 times to 12 times in only two years. So when this happens, investors usually start to worry about the long-term existence of this company. Because if this continued to go down, basically no one's going to lend them to refinance their debt. And the commercial loans are refinanced every five years. They're not like the personal loans for 30 or 15 years. And these companies, they will take debt to pay the old debt. And that's why we can see that their interest expense is increasing. Probably they refinance part of their debt and they got new debt with a higher interest rate. These two reasons, which is the slow growth in the revenue and the inability to service the debt easily like before. In my opinion, the two reasons why we should have higher return investment ratio compared to similar companies that doesn't have these two problems. To have an idea about the return investment ratio in 2023, I downloaded the historical data for the stock price in 2023 got the daily average and then the annual average and we know the free cash flow per share in 2023 and using this 5% discount rate the return investment ratio is about 5.6% in my opinion this is very low return investment ratio and I understand this is a mature company and it's too big to fail but I want at least 7% from this investment so to value the stock, we need to know the free cash flow or the forecasted free cash flow per share in 2024. And to do that, I started with the revenue and I'm optimistic. I think the revenue is going to grow compared to 2023 and similar thing for the free cash flow. I did increase the outstanding shares by half a percent, even though in 2023 they bought back some of their shares. So I think the free cash flow per share in 2023 is $3.09 using 3% discount rate, which is actually the 5% prorated to the number of months left in 2024. I think the stock value should be $42.64. So definitely I will not buy the stock for $51. I will wait until it goes down to 42, 43, and I will get at least 50 shares. Thank you for watching this video to the end. And please let me know in the comment section, any stocks that you're looking at and what do you think about this analysis?